Before Jacob put the coat of many colors on Joseph, he had no dream. But as soon as he put the coat on him, power came on him. Direction came on him. Leadership came on him. And he had dreams for the first time. In other words, he began to see things differently. He began to see his place of power, influence, and position, and leadership in the future. Well, I'm going to be sharing with you briefly from the Word of the Lord. If you have your Bible with you, please come with me to the book of Genesis chapter 37. I'll be reading from... Verse 3, now Israel loved Joseph more than all his brethren because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colors and when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him and Joseph dreamt a dream and he told it his brethren. And they hated him yet the more. Verse 9. And he dreamt yet another dream and told it his brethren. I'd like to stop there. Come to Exodus in chapter 39, verse 1. Exodus 39, verse 1. And of the blue and purple and scarlet, they made clothes of service to do service in the holy place and made the holy garments for Aaron. As the Lord commanded Moses come with me to Isaiah in chapter 22 I'm reading from verse 21 and I will clothe him with thy robe and strengthen him with thy giddle and I will commit thy government into his hand and he shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judea and the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder so that he shall open and none shall shut and he shall shut and none shall open. And I will fasten him as a shaw, as a nail in a sure place. And he shall be for a glorious throne to his father's house. And they shall hang upon him all the glory of his father's house. Beloved, you may want to ask me what is the connection between Exodus 39 uh, when they made clothes of blue, purple, and scarlet and Genesis chapter 37 uh, verse 3 where the father put a coat of many colors on him the connection is when you add blue and purple and scarlet in mixture it becomes coat of many colors and here in Isaiah chapter 22 verse 21 says, and I will clothe him with thy robe and strengthen him with thy giddle and I will commit thy government into his hands every mandate has a mantle Every mandate comes with a mantle. That is why in Matthew chapter 9, verse 20, the woman said, If I can but touch the hem of his garment. As a matter of fact, the mandate on your life is transmitted through your mantle. And that was why that Elisha took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote Jordan, and the waters also parted. Before Jacob put the coat of many colors on Joseph, he had no dream. But as soon as he put the coat on him, power came on him. Direction came on him. Leadership came on him. And he had dreams for the first time. In other words, he began to see things differently. He began to see his place of power, influence, and position and leadership in the future in other words when this apostolic mantle comes upon you you begin to see your place in the future before then he was number 11 in the family he existed in obscurity he walked by logic he walked by his mentality that look i'm only at number 11 i will amount to nothing good but as soon as that coat came on him the father by so doing committed power leadership, government into his hands. 
This apostolic season, mantles are falling, impartations are taking place, and you will do yourself a lot of favor to have revelation of scripture to be able to enter into your place in destiny. The things which God have designed and written concerning you, they are not hid in the realm of knowledge. They are hid in the realm of revelation. And so as soon as the father put that coat on him, dreams came upon his destiny. Dreams came upon his sleep. Dreams came upon his head. Something new is coming upon you right now. In other words, that mantle that was put on him had the capacity to take him from number 11 to number 1. He became the most significant individual. I'm going to pray with you right now. Something new is coming upon you. Lord, as your servant, I bring upon every viewer through the internet, through television, or through the, the VCDs and the DVDs, I impact you with power for elevation, power for enthronement, power to reign. And I like to say this before you go. You will be divinely decorated this season. That's the title of this short exhortation. Every time a position is created, before you are elevated, you are first decorated. You are decorated to suit your exalted position of elevation or enthronement. That is why you find that before kings are coronated, they are dressed as kings. Before members of the clergy are consecrated, they have to be clothed because every position has its clothing. This season, you are divinely decorated in Jesus' name.